are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, as you know, Brittany Griner will be spending the next eight years in a Russian prison. However, her only hope is a prisoner exchange can actually be conducted. Now, the Biden administration has been a virtue signaling out there, even though they've actually really, really failed to do anything to actually get uh, Brittany Griner or any other U.S. citizens that are actually locked up in Russia back. They haven't done anything. Now, guys, we know that uh, Vladimir Putin has other things on his plate. Um, he can really care less about uh, Brittany Griner. But Joe Biden and um, his administration, they've been out there telling everybody, hey, we made a Russian offer. Um, they need to respond, that kind of thing. But um, it seems to be falling on deaf ears as Russia really has not responded because they don't consider her a high priority whatsoever. Now, yesterday her appeal failed. So she's going to be doing eight years in a Russian prison until something can actually be worked out between the United States and Russia. But I've been very, very clear, folks. I don't think anything is going to happen in the next few years under a Joe Biden administration. Now, the virtue signaling will continue out there in the media. That's going to continue because um, that's what uh, Joe Biden and Democrats like to do. Virtue signal and nothing more. Well, guys, Russia is not very happy about the United States actually um, speaking out in public about any type of negotiations. They want this to remain under wraps. Now, yesterday, uh, since the news actually came out that uh, Bernie Grinder's appeal was denied, Russia has come back and they sent another message to Joe Biden and the United States. Here it is, guys, on Fox News. Bernie Grinder prisoner swap negotiations must be conducted in silence. Kremlin warns Russia has previously warned the U.S. about using megaphone diplomacy. But like I said, Joe Biden and his administration, they're going to continue to do this. Maybe they're actually truly trying to sabotage this whole thing. I don't know. But it says here the Kremlin has warned against any public discussions involving a potential prisoner swap that includes WNBA star Brittany Griner just a day after a Russian court ruled to uphold her nine-year prison sentence on drug possession. Uh, Kremlin uh, spokesman Dmitry Peskov issued the warning Wednesday when reporters asked if Griner could be released as a part of a prisoner swap negotiated by the White House, saying, quote, We always say that any contacts about possible exchanges can only be conducted in silence under a tight lid on any information. Peskov made a similar statement in August after widely uh, circulated reports suggested that Victor Bout, a Russian arms, arms dealer who is serving a 25 year sentence in the U.S., was a key component in the deal being discussed. Now, folks, I truly do believe now Victor Bout, I don't think Russia actually really cares about him. I'm just being honest because if they really, really cared about uh, getting Victor Bout back, they probably would have already accepted a deal. They really don't care. I already said it before, guys. I believe that Brittany Griner is going to be in prison until at least 2025 uh, when a new administration actually comes in. Uh, it says here, quote, if we discuss uh, prisoner exchanges via the press, then they will never take place. He said at the time via Reuters. Yeah. So don't mention anything in the press about uh any type of negotiations, but uh, the Joe Biden administration has already done that uh, multiple times here. Now, the U.S. State Department has even come out now and uh, said this. Uh, Brittany Griner's appeal denial could unlock new negotiations, State Department says. And by the way, guys, we have this from uh, Joe Biden. Yeah, he has pretty much admitted that um, he has failed at this because Russia wants nothing to do with him. Uh, this is actually from yesterday. U.S. in constant contact with Russia about Griner, uh, Beijing Biden says. The United States is in constant contact with uh, Moscow about Brittany Griner, the U.S. Uh, WNBA basketball star being held in Russia, Beijing Biden said on Tuesday after her appeal against a nine-year sentence for drug smuggling was denied. 
quote, we are in constant contact with Russian authorities to get Brittany and others out. So far, we've not been meeting with much positive response, but we're not stopping. He said that right there. Then I responded because they truly don't care, folks. And I believe, you know, that uh, Joe Biden, Russia is not a bit fan of him whatsoever. World leaders are not fans of uh, Joe Biden. They're not the Saudis. They don't like him. Russia doesn't like him. I mean, we have fallen so far. I don't want to dive too deep into that. But uh, it's looking pretty bleak here. Pretty bleak. And uh, Russia is sent a message yet again to shut up about publicly putting out about any type of negotiations with Russia. And of course, you know, Joe Biden's administration keeps going out there saying, hey, we always talk to him, that kind of thing. But are they truly doing that? Is Joe Biden actually uh, really doing anything? Probably not. Probably not. And you know what? But Bernie Griner voted for this. The NBA voted for this. Man, the WNBA did too. That are out there put out statements like um, that means anything. Russia has all the chips. And the problem is they don't respect the person that you guys put in office. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.